Welcome to Tom Hawk DIY, everyone. Today I'm going to take a look at repairing the threads inside uh, that have been stripped out where the screw goes. This is in plastic uh, that's been stripped out. In this case, uh, it's in a dishwasher. We'll be using a JB water weld uh, since this is in a wet location, but it's an epoxy um, formula that'll basically turn into plastic. There's also Loctite brand. Uh, products, two-part epoxy that can work as well. So let's take a closer look. As you work with this stuff, make sure you're wearing gloves. Uh, it's good to not get this on your fingers. Now this JB weld comes in a, a little different from the Loctite. The Loctite brand usually has a two, two tube squeeze and put the material out. This one has the two parts, the gray and the white, in the same tube. And cut a piece off the end here. I'm going to mix this stuff together. Oh, got some bit of metal in there. Some of the packaging. We need to kind of knead this together until it's a uniform color. Now this says it's got about a 15 to 20 minute um, set time. These come in a variety of different uh, speeds. There's some that are fast drying, some that are slower. This is one for in water conditions. Um, I'll include some links to Amazon. You can find and pick up, pick up the right stuff. So this epoxy is really a wonderful product for joining together plastic and sealing up holes and um, fixing plastic parts that have broken. All right, with this all mixed together uniformly, now we're going to put it in the hole. So we're going to take and work this up into the, uh, the hole. Now, we can put this screw right into the plastic. Um, this says it bonds a lot of different metals um, and so if you want to get the screw back out I'm going to put on some Teflon tape and it's not supposed to bond to the Teflon so that will give you a chance to remove the screw after the plastic's hardened. Alright, with the screw in we're going to let it uh, let it cure. I'll, I'll remove some of this excess uh, epoxy before it starts hardening. Alright, now that some time's passed, we're going to back out this bolt and we should have threads inside our plastic now. Alright, you see how the Teflon was, some of it kind of stuck up there. There you have it, a way to use epoxy to get your bolt uh, threads back into plastic. Great solution. Thanks for watching Tomahawk DIY. Hope you found this helpful. Uh, like the video. You can find uh, materials on Amazon with the links below. And have a great day.